Hello everyone, I'm Justin Fisher. Let's take a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. The Queen of England's death casting a shadow all the way here in green country as well as around the world. And in the UK, Elizabeth Southard owns the authentically British White Lion Pub in South Tulsa. As you walk into the White Lion, one of the first things you will see is a letter from Her Majesty congratulating her and her husband on their diamond wedding anniversary. Well, now the precious memento greets patrons and guests Southard is from Liverpool and says that she believes the late Queen's son, now King Charles, is ready for that role. We continue our coverage of a noise problem in a parking lot near 71st and Memorial. One neighbor there that we spoke with says every weekend dozens gather playing loud music, revving their engines and shouting. We went there one Friday night and captured this scene. She says that she contacted City Councilor Lori Dector Wright to get some help. They will continue to have this beefed up enforcement action. Major Alexander assured me that he's even authorized overtime to make sure he has enough officers out there. In reference to Tulsa Police Department having officers there, Dr. Wright says that she has brought forward as well a proposal to enhance the city's trespassing ordinance. All right, let's send it over to meteorologist Emma Landeros with your forecast. Hey, Emma. Hey Justin, we are tracking a warm yet very pleasant evening ahead. We are going to see a little bit of some cloud coverage, mostly sunny for around the 5 and 6 o'clock hour, but coming in around 7 o'clock, we're going to see very nice clear skies and that's going to be overnight into tomorrow morning. Temperature is going to stay in those low 80s. Now we are tracking that cold front. So tomorrow expect those partly cloudy skies. South winds going to turn north and that's going to bring the chance for some isolated showers for our northwestern counties for Sunday and temperatures going to drop in the low 80s and we'll keep the low 80s for Monday before temperatures quickly warm back up into the mid 90s.